four years. Women who've been diagnosed with breast cancer have been put through a very painful process of chemotherapy. Now, new research says some may no, lo no longer have to. Dr. John LaPook explains. In 2010, Anne Louise Popolo was diagnosed with early stage breast cancer, the kind fueled by estrogen. Her tumor was analyzed using a genetic test that can help predict recurrence. Results showed she was at low risk, so doctors treated her with hormone blocking therapy alone, sparing her the side effects from what's usually also given, chemotherapy. Why do that if it wasn't going to give me a different outcome than I would get for not having the chemotherapy? So it made sense to me to opt out of it. Today's study in the New England Journal of Medicine followed 1,600 women with hormone-driven breast cancer and a low risk score. They received hormone-blocking therapy, but no chemo. After five years, less than 1% had their cancer recur in a distant part of the body. Breast cancer specialists say this provides the clearest proof of the accuracy of a test that's been used for more than a decade. Oncologist Dr. Harold Burstein of the Dana-Farber Cancer Center treated Popolo. It allows the doctor to sit up a little straighter in the chair and look the patient in the eye and say, you know what, it really looks like you have a good prognosis and that chemotherapy is not going to improve that prognosis. The study looked at women whose tumors were at the lowest risk of recurrence. The next step is to see if chemo can also be avoided when the tumor risk is somewhat higher. And the hope is to be able to use this kind of genetic fingerprinting to precisely tailor treatment for a wide range of cancers. Dr. John LaPook, CBS News, New York. Dr. Marlene Myers is an oncologist at NYU Langone Medical Center, and she joins me now with more. Thanks for being here, doctor. Thank you for having me. So this is a fascinating study, but it's not new. So why is it getting so much attention now? Well, it's getting so much attention because it's a great validation study. And we always knew that there were some people who didn't, some women in particular who had breast cancer, who did not need chemotherapy. And we thought we knew who those women were. But this is what's called a prospective study, meaning that it has the greatest amount of scientific evidence to show us that there are a group of women who have early stage breast cancer who really don't need chemotherapy and who can be treated simply with hormone therapy alone. What I find really fascinating about this, and it keeps happening, happening every year that I'm seeing these medical studies that are being done, all stemmed from the mapping of the human genome, right? Because now we can study the genes and we can know which women are predisposed to having certain types of cancer and which ways that this will enable to help them. Exactly. And the old way we used to practice oncology years ago was one size fits all. So if you were a woman, you had breast cancer, that's all we needed to know. You're going you to chemo. Got, you got chemo. And then you got hormone therapy as not quite an afterthought, but we always believed that chemotherapy was needed for everybody. But the more we learned and the more finesse we understood about the biology, which is really the key to breast cancer treatment, the more we learned that not everyone needs chemo. And some women can do perfectly fine without it. Other women need chemotherapy plus additional drugs that may target other genes in the breast cancer. So it's really exciting and it really leads to a lot of new research and new interventions. So I know that there's going to be a lot of women that are going to watch this and say to them, Cells. That's fantastic, incredible news. I don't need to go, go through the pain of chemotherapy, but it's not every woman that correct. this is available to. That's correct. And in this particular study, it actually was a minority of women. In all the women that were enrolled in this study, only about 16% were eligible to have no chemotherapy. Now, it doesn't mean that there aren't other women who also can avoid chemotherapy. But if you're looking at the hard data, this pretty much looks at women whose recurrence score is under 10. These are women who had hormone receptive positive breast cancer and negative lymph nodes. So the important thing for these women to remember is that number one, breast cancer is not a death sentence. Number two, breast cancer does not always require chemotherapy. And number three, to always discuss this with your doctor. Dr. Myers, thank you so much for being with us. Appreciate it. My pleasure, it. thank you.